Do you have a skin rash that's driving you crazy? Uh, are you unable to get in to see your primary care provider? Or maybe you've seen your PCP, they don't know how to help you, and they've referred you to dermatology, but you can't get in to see a dermatologist for several months. I think this video might help you. Guys, my name is Amanda Brooks. I am a practicing physician assistant. I've been practicing emergency medicine for going on 20 years, and I'm here helping you to become an advocate for yourself and make some lifestyle changes that could potentially uh, change your skin, okay? So there are so many contributing factors to our skin because our skin manifests what's going on internally, which is something that we don't take into consideration very often. I am seeing more and more individuals presenting to the emergency department with you know, weird skin conditions and they don't know how to get them under control. Okay, I wanna talk about three conditions that are very closely linked to adverse reactions found on our skin. The first, guys, is insulin resistance. So many of us have heard this term. Uh, physicians and providers alike use it often. And what this means is that our cells are resistant to insulin. Insulin is the key that allows glucose into our cells. And if that's the case, then we have an excessive amount of glucose circulating in our blood, which results in diabetes. Uh, the second term is metabolic syndrome. So if you're suffering from metabolic syndrome, which is diagnosed um, when one has like an, uh, an increased abdominal girth, uh, suffering from hypertension, so high blood pressure, hyperglycemia, which is high blood sugar, uh, when their HDL, which is your good cholesterol, is low, um, and when your um, uh, triglycerides are high, that's metabolic syndrome. If you're suffering from metabolic syndrome, you most, most certainly have one of the skin conditions that I'm going to talk about. Um, and then thirdly, um, hyperinsulinemia. So a condition in which the insulin in your blood is high and you probably don't even know it because this condition this condition precedes the diagnosis of diabetes by several years, typically, you know, around 10 years or so. So skin conditions that I'm seeing often, number one is eczema, like that itchy red rash that's who knows where, could be anywhere on your skin. Most of us are familiar with this since millions are suffering from this. Uh, along with psoriasis. We've seen a huge link with elevated levels of insulin um, contributing to this rash. Um, another skin condition uh, that people think is most often linked to uh, testosterone production is male pattern baldness, right? Like, so there's a huge link um, between this and hyperinsulinemia. And I'm going to provide studies below um, so that you can see for yourself that I'm not just making this up. So um, skin tags, um, most of us have a skin tag, maybe here or there, but if you have three or more large or moderate in size skin tags, this could be your sign that something's going on internally that you need to look at a little closer. Um, Hydradenitis superativa. Guys, I did a video on this uh, a few months back. If you didn't see it, take a peek at it. Um, there's a huge link um, with um, insulin production uh, and um, HS. So um, if you're suffering from this condition, Again, I'm seeing people coming into the emergency department with large abscesses uh, in their uh, axilla, in their armpit, um, and they're repetitive, like they can't get rid of them. They're in their groin. Um, this looks so painful, and it's contributing to so much stress um, in their lives because they can't go about their daily routine 
due to this condition. So if you suffer from this or know someone that does, please make sure to watch that video, um, share this one with others, uh, because at the end of this video, I am going to talk about three blood tests um, that you can have uh, ordered by your primary care provider that will help you to know for certain uh, that you are suffering from hyperinsulinemia. Um, okay, so stay tuned. Acne. Now we're not talking about just getting a, a pimple here and there, but people that have acne, they most certainly are suffering from one of these three conditions, okay? So even if you're young, even if you're thin, you can still have this condition, okay? Um, so make sure to get these three lab tests ordered by your primary care provider that I'm gonna tell, talk to you about. Rosacea, you know, that buildup of blood vessels uh, in your cheeks and nose. Oh, it looks horrible, it must feel terrible. And, and people don't know how to treat this. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you some helpful hints. Now, I'm not going to tell you about a pill or a potion or an injection, you know, something, um, uh, a treatment. I'm going to tell you about something that you can do with your lifestyle that's going to make a world of difference, I promise. Um, so all of these uh, conditions, the last that I wanted to talk about is acanthosis, Niger cans. This is when you have that hyperpigmentation, that dark skin color, usually on your neck, the back of your neck, in your armpits. Um, this is 100% usually related to insulin resistance. When I see a patient in the ER um, with this condition and they're not even in the ER complaining of this, I'm thinking, yep, they're definitely diabetic. Okay, so the three tests, um, number one, guys, is the hemoglobin A1C. Um, many of you have probably heard this term but aren't so familiar. This is the long-term uh, long marker of your glucose level. So this is telling me or your provider what your sugar levels have been over the last three months. This is incredibly helpful. Um, the second test is a C-peptide, okay? So our... our pancreases, the beta cells in our pancreases, uh, they secrete insulin, okay? And what the C-peptide does is it um, is telling us how much insulin your pancreas has had to produce. Obviously, if it's producing a lot, we know that you have hyperinsulinemia. And then the, 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 the third test is a fasting insulin level. Okay, like I said in the beginning, if, um, if you have high levels of insulin circulating in your blood, if you have hyperinsulinemia, this is typically preceding a diabetes diagnosis, but most providers, this is not a test that they order, okay? So make sure to talk to your primary care provider. If you have a skin condition, Get these three labs checked um, because it might motivate you to make a dramatic change in your diet. So here it is, okay? Three months ago, I was struggling with some online patients that I was seeing. They were having, you know, they're having some nasty skin conditions and we did receive some relief uh, in a few cases when we, eliminating, when we eliminated a few food products like gluten, dairy, um, but the rash was still coming back. Um, people were making massive diet changes without relief of their symptoms. And guess what I found? I found that when carbohydrates were dramatically decreased or even eliminated altogether, the rashes went away. Because we, when we decrease carb consumption and adhere to a keto or a ketovore or you know a zero carb diet like carnivore diet um, our bodies the insulin production goes down sugar levels normalize so all of these labs will completely normalize if you adhere to such a diet so if you have a rash Think about a lower or a non-existent carbohydrate diet. You've got to decrease carbohydrates. It's plain and simple. If you want validation that your skin condition could be resulting from one of these three syndromes, whether it be metabolic syndrome, hyperinsulinemia, 
or uh, insulin resistance, then get the labs um, C peptide, uh, fasting insulin, and A1C performed by your primary doctor. And please, guys, share this. Share this with a friend. Um, share this with someone that it could help because it really is my goal um, to help you become advocates for yourself uh, and to take your healthcare into your own hands uh, because the healthcare system, it's, it's overworked and you're not getting the care that you need. So please let me help you to do that. Anyway, take care, be well, chat soon.